Now, you wouldn't know this, but indirectly, Hess Bakery helped put me through college. You worked there? Oh, in, in uh, between 1971 and 1975, uh, summer and about a year and a half full time, I was a, a wholesale food truck driver. And I delivered more cream cheese to Hess Bakery than to any other location in Pierce County. <laughs> Sometimes I went in with 120 pounds of cream cheese, one yeah. dirt So I had, had fond memories of the, the great aromas in there when I, uh, I was going in. Well, often the highest quality comes from perfecting the simple things, such as the case with Hess Bakery in Delhi, a Lakewood institution that has built a reputation of offering the freshest and most authentic German baked goods, sandwiches, groceries anywhere in South Sound. Customers won't find any fancy contemporary creations or food that explores new ground. They will find traditional German staples, everything from soft pretzels to rye sourdough bread to Landjager dried sausage. It's the reason that the business at 6108 Mount Tacoma, Tacoma Drive Southwest has built a loyal following since it opened in 1963. It first catered to military personnel on what was then known as Fort Lewis and McCord Air Force Base, but today it reaches, its reach extends up and down the Puget Sound region. Longtime customers know the story of Hess Bakery well. Tony and Hilda Hess, the store's namesakes, immigrated and settled in the South Sound. Tony Hess was tr a trained baker, but it wasn't enough money, there wasn't enough money in war ravaged Germany. At first, he went door to door selling and delivering bread on Fort Lewis and McCord. Following World War II, many members of the military married German women who yearned for bread, meat, and other, popular, uh, other foods popular in their native country. And I can attest that a number of them were working at the bakery at that time because I got to practice my high school German when I went in. Business picked up so much that the couple opened up a small store in Delhi on Bridgeport Way, not far from its current location. As the store's reputation traveled by word of mouth throughout the local German community, Hess Bakery in Delhi was regularly packed with customers. In 1980, Tony Hess built the brick building that currently houses the shop. In 2006, Around the time Tony Hess passed away, the Hess family sold the store to Dario Kiki Cardenas, who joined Hess as a baker in 1978, and Joni and John de Grande. True to their word, the current owners have kept the same formula that Hess perfected. The baked goods, the imported products, the handmade sandwiches. They're all of the highest and most authentic quality. The bakery doesn't do wholesale because, frankly, it doesn't need to. The shop's most popular items, pretzels, which come in traditional roll and stick form, and rye bread made with non-processed flour. The deli features fresh meats and cheeses and is a popular lunch and dinner time location. Nearly all the products on the store shelves and it's in its refrigerators are imported directly from Germany or their products one might find in a German store. Even the chocolates and gummy bears taste like the products one would find in the old country. Despite its long-standing popularity, Hess built its success without any major ad advertising. That speaks to the importance of a loyal following among local German population. Of course, they welcome newcomers too, whether they've traveled to Bavaria or not. For its more than 50 years of success and commitment to the community, the city of Lakewood recognizes Hess Bakery in Delhi as its November 2016 business showcase. I'd like to uh, present you with this uh, framed recognition and uh, Lakewood City pin. Hopefully you'll uh, proudly hang it on your wall oh, yeah, we and we'll will. come in and find some good things to eat. Oh, nice. Would you uh, like to say something? Well, um I guess I can come over here. Well, I thank uh, the city of Lakewood for uh, uh, recognizing us as a shop. We're trying to do our best to keep it going, uh, actually improving what we can for the, for, the, for the American public. We're actually doing much better business. We're trying to, we are doing the internet, um, you know, the advertising, so our business is just going through the roof. We, yeah, uh, uh, we're doing, Really well with American uh, the community, with the German, we're losing our German clientele. You know, they're slowly, we're get, they're getting all older. The number one German export pro, uh, of Germany was the German women over the Mercedes and over the BMWs. <laughs> so uh, there was not a, uh, enough uh, military people going over there and bringing back the, 
the, the, the new wave. Of, and so we're, uh, we're really happy that the Americans accepted us as a, as a good in the community, and we're doing just really, you know, really well. So thank you very much, okay, for the yeah. honor. Thank you very much. Step, step out here and pretend I'm handing it to you again.